Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we've got another funky mold. Actually, we've got two molds here. Two funky molds to play with and these molds, you guys. When I saw this on Instagram, I immediately followed them. Immediately, like, had to keep up with when these molds were gonna be released because I've never seen anything like this before. These molds are holographic molds. So what I mean by that is that, like, they're rainbow in there. So when you make a resin piece with this mold, it comes out with like the holographic rainbowness, like in the actual piece. I'm gonna take one out and show you guys what exactly I mean, because I feel like it's hard to explain. So I got this little crescent moon mold, and you guys are probably seeing as I move it around, it's, it's like got these little like shards of just like holographic rainbowness. And so when you pour resin in here and it cures, you pop it out, the actual piece itself has those little like shards, has this like imprinted in it. So it has those little shards of like rainbow, which I think is wild. Like the mold itself creates a piece that is holographic. What? So this is the star, which, oh my God. You guys, you guys see what I'm saying now, right? You guys understand why I'm freaking out a little bit about this. So we're gonna be making a couple of holographic rainbow pieces. We're gonna make the moon and the star in this video. So if you guys are interested to see how these holographic molds work and how the pieces turn out, then continue watching. So like I said, I've never seen molds like this before. I've never seen like a mold artist make a mold that creates a piece that is holographic, like as the piece itself without having to put glitter or something inside of it. If this does exist already, if there is an artist that has made this before, I've, I've never seen it. So if there is an artist out there that has done this before, let me know, uh, tag them down in the comments. I'll check them out. Uh, but as far as I've ever seen, this is the first of it. So I got these molds from JulieArt84 on Instagram. So it's like Julie Art Studio, which is a pretty cute name. So this is what their Instagram looks like, and this is where I bought them from. So yeah, I was just scrolling Instagram because, you know, I'm always looking for like cool molds. I was on like my homepage, you know, where it shows you all kinds of different stuff. And I found these. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I have to. I have to try this. So once they got released, I immediately bought them. So actually this star one has like a little, it's gonna have like a little hole at the top. So this could be like a Christmas ornament or something like that, or maybe like a little car dangly or something. Uh, but this one I did get without the hole at the top just because I wanna be able to use it for other stuff. We're gonna get over to my desk. We're gonna start mixing up some resin. I think I'm gonna make one of these solid black so that we can really see the holographic and then the other one i'm going to try to do you know some kind of like lighter color to just test and see like what it looks like with a lighter color and not black so i'm going to meet you guys over at my desk to get started on mixing up some resin hey guys so we're going to be doing a voiceover for this video so I have here a brand new resin. I've never used this before. This is my first time using it. So it's by Entropy Resins or Entropy Resins. And it is a bio-based resin. Uh, I'm super excited about it. I, you know, I'm still learning about it. So once I know more about it, I'll tell you guys more about it. Uh, but anyway, we're still testing it out. It is a two to one resin. So that means two parts resin, one part hardener. Um, and I am using cups that have like measurement lines on it, which is, I mean, it's super helpful even when I'm using a one-to-one -one resin, but it's like mega ultra, ultra, <laughs> ultra helpful for when I'm uh, measuring out like two-to-one resins because I'm definitely not a math person, so. Okay, so now that our resin is mixed up, we're gonna be pouring the resin into our mold. So I did start with the moon piece and I believe I did alcohol inks in this one which you will see right now. Uh, so these are the alcohol inks that I was going for. I wanted this to look more uh, like transparent and kind of like a stained glass look so I didn't add any white alcohol ink. I just dripped the like colored alcohol ink in and then I kind of swirled it around 
and it ended up making kind of a pretty color in the end. So now we're taking the rest of the resin and I'm just adding this dispersion color to color it black um, because I want the star to look kind of like, I wanted to do a solid black because I know that, you know, holographic and rainbow kind of effects do best with a black background. And then I also added this glitter, which is also a holographic glitter. We were going for like maximum hollow here. <laughs> Once everything was mixed up, I'm just going to take my mold and we're going to pour the resin in. So something I did want to tell you guys is that throughout this video, I was also testing using like spraying um, alcohol onto like your resin pieces to pop bubbles instead of using a heat gun. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to be honest, but I'm still trying it. Okay, so 24 hours later, we are going to pop these out. I'm so excited. So I did kind of peek on the star beat. It's, I'm really excited about these. I just, I had to, okay? So anyway, I left the whole thing for you guys. So here we go. We're gonna pop out the star first. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I can't open my eyes. I can't open my eyes. Stop it right there, right there. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> Stop, are you serious? Look at that. The mold did that. I didn't do that. The mold did that. How is that even like a real thing? How is that a real thing? They figured out how to make a mold of holographic, like of, of the hollow. There's a mold of hollow. <laughs> I cannot get over that. So I feel like I love this. I did sprinkle in some like holographic glitter. So you'll see that there. And I thought it would just kind of add to the whole star, like holographic kind of galaxy vibe that we're going for here. All right. Okay, okay. We're gonna pop out the moon, which basically turned green. I know I put like lavender and then like a pink color in there but then it started getting a little muddy so i like mixed it up and the green color that i put in well it was more like a turquoise kind of won so we've got basically a green moon and i feel like this is gonna be so pretty at least i hope so okay so here we go oh, oh no oh no oh no 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 shut up look at this shut shut up shut up I can't handle that. I can't handle that. Look at that. Look at it. Look. You guys, I just, am I the only one freaking out here? Am I actually the only one freaking out? Cause I mean, this is just wild. It has hollow. It is the hollow. <laughs> I can't get over it. It's hollow. It's hollow. <laughs> so this is the both of them next to each other. And look at them go. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. This this is the coolest. If you've been here for at least like five minutes, watched any of my videos, I'm sure this comes to no surprise to you. Um, but I'm actually obsessed with these. <laughs> okay, so this isn't done. We're not done here, please don't leave yet, because I think I'm gonna go at it again, and I think what I'm gonna do for one of them is I wanna see what it looks like to put flowers in it, because I, I love working with flowers, and I would like to see what one of these looks like, all holographic, but with flowers behind it. And then for the other mold, I don't know which one we're gonna do with which, uh, but for the other mold, I was thinking of trying dusting one of the molds, just to see if that affects the holographic like effect of it I feel like it would but if it also has like you know whatever cool effect the like dust whatever kind of dust I pick I feel like maybe if it combines it could be really cool so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try dusting one of the molds and then for the other one we're also gonna try some flowers just because I want to see what that looks like so we're gonna go back over to my desk we're gonna mix up some more of that resin by the way that resin I'm so excited about it. I'm still like testing it out. 
but I'm pretty excited about it. It seems really, really cool. Uh, so I will link that down in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, we're going to go back to my desk. We're going to mix up some resin. And we're going to make another star and moon piece with this like holographic effect. I Okay, let's go. I can't keep talking about this, so we just got to go. Okay, so we've got our molds ready to go again. So I am going in with a like color shifting pigment. Uh, it shifted from like, it looks white, but it shifted from like a pink to a green. It was really, really pretty. So I was hoping that it would kind of like combine with the holographic shards. So I'm just dusting that around with the only brush I could find. So don't laugh at it. It was literally the only one I could find in my desk. Uh, so once that was dusted, I took the resin that I mixed up off camera uh, because I know that that can get boring and I'm just going to be pouring it right over, right into the mold. So now we're going to be doing the first layer of this like star floral piece. Um, so like I usually do with all of my flower pieces, I'm going to do it in two layers so that the flowers don't float uh, out of the piece. So this is my first layer of resin and now I'm taking my little flowers. These are like, I got to start drying flowers flat just for like future projects because I'm, I'm running low. So I'm just placing the flowers where I wanted them. I tried to do like, you know, a cute little star kind of design with my little purple flowers and the little white one in the center. So I usually let the first layer cure for at least five hours before I do the second layer, but I did uh, let this cure overnight. So this is the next day and you'll see that those little purple guys in the bottom did float uh, to the edges. Um, so now I'm just pouring the second layer of resin on top. So this is the next day and we're trying to top coat these pieces. So I do have a layer on the back of these pieces of liquid latex. So this is for when I do top coats. The resin will go over the top of the piece and over the sides uh, and when it cures like you know as drippies on the bottom I'll be able to peel it off with the liquid latex and it'll just be a nice top coat. Um, so I am using that same resin as a top coat. It's really just a casting resin so uh, it was too thin to be a top coat and it did kind of like drip off a little bit. All right, you guys, so once again, we kind of have a variety of results. So I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that I tried top coating the first two pieces that we made. And I'm so glad that I did because I kind of got a result that I didn't even consider. What I'm gonna do is start peeling off the liquid latex off the back, which is how I top coat stuff like this. So I just paint like a layer of liquid latex on the back and it protects it. So, ta so, like I said, I tried top coating this because the little rainbow like shards, I guess, kind of have like a texture to them. So I thought I, I wanted to try and see to be able to show you guys uh, what it would look like if you top coated it. So the areas that actually got part of the top coat because I did end up using a like I used an entirely new resin for this whole video. I'm pretty excited about it, um, but it is kind of like a thinner resin. So it's not super great for top coating. But anyway, that's not what we're, what we're looking at here. So part of this piece has the top coat and the other part, the top coat just kind of like dripped off. So the part of the piece that has the top coat is like this whole section here. And I'm pretty sure you can see that. And then this part here, you'll see those like rainbowy shards are still there and that's where the top coat isn't. So the top coat kind of took away the entire rainbow effect. Like those shards of like holographicness are gone because they're covered by resin. Okay, so I wanted to just jump in really quick here because I was looking on their website just now, uh, specifically on the listings for these like holographic pieces or the holographic molds. And they do state in the listing that if you put a top coat on it, it will make the holographic effect disappear. So 100% my fault for not reading the full listing. Um, and you know, still I did, I am still glad that I like tried that out to show you guys, but it is totally listed in like the description of their listing and everything. So 100% my bad um, on that one. They've also got some other stuff in there, uh, you know, like some other, you know, details about the molds that, so if you go to buy these molds, I would definitely suggest reading through 
the entire description. Yeah, I just wanted to jump in and let you guys know that it does say that in the description of the listing. I'm not like, I'm not upset about it at all. You know, I still think these molds are incredible. Like they are incredible. And I'm sure I'm gonna say that about a thousand times uh, when we get back to the rest of this actual video. But I did wanna clarify because I know I brought it up in the end of this video. So I did just wanna say that they do list it in the description. There's a bunch of other stuff. You guys should check out if you are going to uh, purchase these molds. So anyway, back to the rest of this video. So now I'm gonna peel the liquid latex off the back of the star piece. So this star is the first star that we made and I tried to do a top coat on it as well. Again, the resin I used is a little too thin, so it's not good for top coating, which is why you'll see parts of like the shards underneath and then part of it was still okay. This whole section that has top coat on it, you can't see it at all. You know, what I get from that, the results of that is that you can't top coat uh, pieces made by these molds. So now we're gonna go over to this, we're gonna pop this out and I did kind of peel it back just a little bit to see if the rainbow does still show up. And I will peel it off for you guys so that you guys can see. So with this piece, I did dust it with like a really fine color shifting pigment and it totally took that effect away, like the rainbow effect, because you can't see it at all. It's literally just like this, you know, the pink kind of like pigment that I dusted on there. The mold is still rainbowy though. For a second I was like, oh my God, did I just ruin this mold? The mold is still rainbowy, so that's good. <laughs> that brings us to the very last piece, which, I, I feel like it's gonna be really pretty. So these little guys did drift and they didn't stay like where I put them, which kind of annoys me. But anyway, we're gonna peel this off. We're gonna peel it out. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. It's just, that holographicness is just, I can't get over it. And over like, this piece is basically clear, you know, besides like the couple of flowers that are in there. So it's really cool to see this like holographic effect over basically a clear piece. So this is what this one looks like. The holographic effect is, it's stunning and beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. So it's actually super cool to have flowers in this because you can basically just like, if you're looking at it straight on, you know, like if you weren't moving it around to see the flashing of the rainbow, it's really cool to just see this like nice clear piece with flowers in it and then you move it around and it's rainbowy and really amazing and cool. Even though you can't top coat these pieces, like, okay, we can't even deny, we cannot deny that this is effing cool. This is so cool for like a silicone mold to have the print of holographic in it. Like when you make the piece, I know I've said this like a thousand times in this video, but you make, you pour resin into this mold and out pops a piece that has the rainbow in it. Like I molded the rainbow <laughs> or they molded the rainbow and then I made pieces from it. So this mold is still crazy, crazy amazing. I love it. So I will definitely be linking them down in the description if you wanna check them out. I'll also link the resin that I used in this video. Again, it's not good for top coating, but it is great, amazing for making uh, small pieces like this, and I'm gonna be testing it out for some other stuff too. But I'm pretty sure they have resins that are specifically for top coating. So anyway, I will link these molds down in the description. I will link the Instagram for the artist that made these molds. I will link everything down in the description if you wanna check it out. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so I just tried to look up uh, an easier way to explain like how something can become or be made holographic. And all I'm getting really is how the universe is all a hologram and that the whole world is a hologram. So anyway, I'm gonna get started on using these holographic molds. So I'm gonna, mm, <laughs> there's hollow in this. I, I, <laughs> <laughs>